for no you. question. And, you know, Al, who I think the world of out at Penn, just a heck of a high school coach, he was texting me all last year about Marcus. And uh, and I said, Al, I, I know, and I, I'm following him, and I'm going to watch him in the summer when he gets out on the circuit. I first saw him against Cathedral in Indianapolis, and he crushed him, and he was great. And he did a little bit of everything, and he led. And there, I was, Anthony was with me. I'd go, let's offer him right now. And Anthony goes, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Let's go watch him in Kansas City first. <laughs> then I offered him at halftime in the first game in Kansas City. <laughs> so I actually left the gym early in Indianapolis because there were so many Granger Penn people. I knew they'd become, well, what do you think? You offer him? <laughs> I left with four minutes to go. They were up like 15 because I didn't want to be asked those questions because I wanted one more peek at him in Kansas City. But I was like, slow, let's just offer him. What are we, no, not Mike. And that's what assistants are about. S slow down. I said, okay, okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm thrilled to have him. He's, he is a, uh, you know, he's got to score a lot for his high school team, as we know. But um, what was interesting to watch in Kansas City, and then the first uh, home football game he was here, and actually Brady Dunlap was visiting, he's getting into the lane and finding people. And he, he, he doesn't do that as much at Penn because he has to score. But he can do that, and I remember asking Nate. I always, you always ask your old guys after pickup, like your seniors, who'd you like? And Nate goes, I really like Bert. I'm sold. <laughs> and what do you like about the other two guys? Well, the other two guys, the skill set, certainly being able to shoot the ball. You know, we're losing, you know, some guys that can really stretch the floor and shoot it. But they have the ability to shoot. But they, they really know how to play. One's a coach's son. Um, in, in Brady, he's got good size, he's got good athletic ability, he's coming off an ankle injury, which is why he was a bit hidden, and we were able to get in there. You know, he was offered early by Canton, and then people kind of, when he didn't play and the ankle was bothering him, you know, they faded. Parker is, I know he can shoot it. I've been really impressed with his passing and seeing the floor, but they're both they're basketball IQ guys. They're both guys that need to get stronger and older, which we've seen that, you know, uh, thing before here. Um, but certainly because they can shoot it and they know how to play and what we're losing, we need them to be ready as freshmen. For a guy that's made a living on the I-95 corridor recruiting wise, last time I checked, Oklahoma <laughs> and Southern California aren't along I-95. so. After all these years, how do you find yourself getting out there? You know what? A great staff. I would I would put that on the staff that I have that did a really good job evaluating. And um, you know, I, I we've not done as much out west, but this one started. Brady started coming our way a little bit, and, and uh, uh, Parker was a kid we always thought was a great fit. Um, certainly, we're excited about the local guy, Marcus, and. and you know, I just didn't want to pass on a local guard. There's been so many guards. <laughs> I told our guys, I said, hey, if it's close, we're taking him. Look at all the guards that have come, starting with Canada and Jackson and Ivy and Wesley. So we're taking him, and I think he's going to be really good. But um, the other two guys, I think, you know, probably too, though, they, um, his Parker's high school coach, Brady's father, really understood our program and how their skill set, Brady and Parker, would really fit for us. And then they can also do the math that there's a lot of guards leaving the building. <laughs>